Hi, today I'm going to be showing you 100 things you can do while you're stuck at home. Because let's be honest, with the current situation, a lot of us are stuck inside. So come on in and let's get started with the video. You could recreate some old viral TikTok recipes. I don't think this is right. But it kind of looks cool. You could practice speaking your native language. Okay. I think Tagalog is pretty cool. I think that was pretty close. <laughs> you could try some yoga workouts. You could try some HIIT workouts. These are pretty intense. You could also try some Pilates workouts. My personal favorite YouTuber is Blogilates. You could also try weightlifting. But if you don't have the proper equipment, you could also try to improvise a workout. This could be pretty difficult though. You could go for a walk or a run on your treadmill. You could sell clothes you don't wear anymore on apps like Poshmark or Facebook Marketplace. You could create a reading book list for the year. You could start a garden in your backyard. I'm not really sure if um, now's the right time to start a garden, but you, you could definitely try. Green thumbs. You could go through your Google picture memories. So like Google Photos has like memories from like two years ago, four years ago, five years ago, and like during like the same week that it is the week that you're viewing it. So like this was what my dog looked like five years ago during the same week. You could send your friend your favorite Instagram memes or send them your favorite TikToks from your three hour TikTok binges. You could find some new recipes to add to your cooking list for 2022. You could see how many jackets you can put on. This, this is one jacket. This is two jackets. <sighs> this is three jackets and probably enough jackets. I don't want to put on anymore. You could play Mario Kart on your Switch. Yeah. Yeah, because this is, this, is, this is totally a switch. You could grab a snack to eat. You could organize your closet and maybe even come up with a system for it based on the colors or the shades. You could organize your kitchen Tupperware and your kitchen glassware. You can learn how to declutter your home. Definitely something that I need to do. You could also play with your dogs. Daydream about the day the pandemic will be over. You can visit your sibling if you have one. I have one, but she just didn't want to be in the video. You could write about things you're grateful for and collect it in a jar. You could go window shopping to save some money. Or you could just actually buy the stuff, you know, help the economy. You could mop the house or you could vacuum the house depending on the type of floors that you have. You could dust the house. Basically, you could just find something to clean in the house. You could pretend you're on your world tour when you're listening to music. You can make your New Year's resolutions. You can learn how to style your bangs or just your hair in general. You can try to do the impossible and try to lick your nose or you could try and lick your elbow. You could rearrange your desk and workspace to spice things up a little bit. You could try cooking a new dish or you could just eat some leftovers. You could have a snowball fight. You can make a snowman or you can make a snow dog. You can make a snow angel. Or you could also make a snow dog. You could go snowshoeing. You could try new hairstyling techniques. You could try completing a puzzle. This is definitely a time consuming one. You could find a new game to download on your computer. You could update your profile picture on all of your social media accounts. You could learn how to invest in stocks. You could find your personality type. Ooh, I'm an ESTP. Comment down your personality type in the comments. You could learn how to do some new TikTok transitions. You could rest and relax. You could use a bath bomb. You could make some avocado and toast. You could do a cartwheel or learn how to do one like me. You can cut off your split ends. You can count how many birds fly out your window. It's been like five minutes and I swear I've seen like zero birds thus far, but I did see some icicles, which is kind of cool. You can make a vision board. You can make an origami fortune teller. You could decorate a jar with paint and glitter. You could delete files that you no longer need on your computer. You could eat a fruit or a vegetable. You can watch part one and part two of 100 things you can do when you're bored for another 200 things to do. 
You could update your scrapbook. You could check your school grades. You could review your class notes to make sure you're always at the top of your game. You can organize your stationery and pens in a nice drawer. You could also organize your makeup in a drawer. You can organize your jewelry. You can put on a new face mask, or you could put on a lip mask, or you could even put on a mask mask. You can watch TV, although I feel like we mostly use Netflix nowadays. You can update your Google Calendar. You could watch a comedy movie. I'd personally recommend White Chicks. You could also watch a suspenseful movie. I really love Shutter Island. And you could also watch a drama. I really like Passengers. You can make some lists, like a shopping list for the year of things you want to get. You could create a personal goals list of the year. You could create an academic slash workplace goals list of the year. You could also create a list of bad habits that you want to stop this year. For more fun lists, you could create a bucket list. And once you're finished all your lists, you could decorate it or other things with some nice stickers. You could review your Spotify wrapped. You could spray your plants to keep them hydrated. You could organize a doggy date. You could bake something sweet in the oven. There's nothing in here because this oven doesn't work. <laughs> you could find an online course to take. You could vlog your entire day and upload it to YouTube. You could have a karaoke party. You could build a fort with your blanket. You could discuss the news with your family. Let's, let's discuss the news. If they're around, my family was not. You could find touristy things to do in your city once you can actually go out. You could learn Morse code. You could work on your finances. You could call a friend to check up on them. You could hydrate yourself. And finally, hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.